Good afternoon everybody. I've had a few people asking me why I'm talking so much about Bitcoin in the last few weeks and months. I've actually been in since July 2016, so it's a little over 18 months, or about 18 months that I've actually been in. And a lot of people ask me like, why am I going on about Bitcoin? Because I'm not the Bitcoin specialist, I'm not the expert, but I'm the guy who's usually first to the party. And if you've been following me for a long time, I had business um, 10, 15 years ago, and back then the internet was a brand new thing. I've been on the internet since 95, 96, and back in those days we used to send letters through the mail, we used to send bulk mail out to clients and things like that. And this Bitcoin is the, is the future of letters. This is the blockchain is the internet. And right now I'm sitting in an Uber. It's Ahmed, say hi, Ahmed. Hi, hello, how are you? And doing something crazy because <laughs> you know many years ago you wouldn't jump into the car with a random stranger. You would only deal with taxi cabs. But now we have peer to peer, so I can actually find Ahmed who wants to drive me somewhere, and he can find me who wants to go somewhere. He doesn't need a taxi license. This is peer to peer operation. And before we had the internet. I used to phone my sister in America, I used to send faxes to my sister in America and you were limited by the speed of the phone lines and you were limited by the cost of the phone lines. And again, going back to the post office example, you know, like this year I got one Christmas card, one Christmas card. Thank you very much Michelle for that. But many years ago you'd get dozens of Christmas cards and you'd get no emails. You were limited by the speed of the post office which would take three or four days to deliver a letter and they charge you an exorbitant price for doing something. Once the internet came along, I could talk to my sister a lot faster and I wasn't paying the exorbitant prices because with peer-to-peer, -peer, we can actually share our own resources. And this is what Bitcoin and blockchain is doing. It's becoming the internet of money. So I sent a Christmas bonus to my assistant yesterday in Bali. I sent it through Bitcoin. Previously, I wouldn't be able to send small amounts of money uh, through the traditional banking system because number one they've still got this thing where it's three-day settlement like we're living in the olden days where you had to write out a check and send it to someone and in those middle three days they're making money on that plus they charge unreasonable prices or they get you on the arbitrage because if you want to buy US dollars you're paying 76 cents but if you want to sell US dollars you're only getting 73 cents so they'll bite you three or four percent on the way through on the currency exchange and then they'll charge you a $20 fee or a $25 fee so if you want to send small amounts of money to someone for things it's costing you ridiculous amounts almost up to 10 percent in some situations. So again, the blockchain is basically the internet. We're running through the internet rather than running through the phone companies, rather than running through the post office, and rather than running through the taxi companies. And the Bitcoin and the other the other coins, the Ethereum and Ripple and Ether, uh, Ether I already said that one, and the other ones, <laughs> there's 850 of them right now. This is the way that we actually send emails now rather than letters. You can send money, you can send $5 to someone and you're not paying a $25 fee for doing that. And I can jump into Ahmed's car and he's not charging me the prices that a taxi would charge me. So this is peer-to-peer -peer money. Blockchain is doing to banking what the internet did to the post office. So you're either on board or you're actually missing out. And as I say, I'm not sure whether whether Bitcoin is going to be the newest and latest and greatest because by now it's 10 year old technology. There are newer technologies that are using different types of blockchain. So Ethereum is using a different system. And what's the other one that I just got into, which I can't remember right now. IOTA is actually using a Tangle, which is sort of, if you've been on the internet for a while, you'll remember Napster and some of those file sharing networks, which are peer-to-peer -peer networks. And then we had the torrent networks, which the, the, the Tangle is more like the torrent. Now again, we're using the internet, we're going peer-to-peer, -peer, and this is where the future is. So that's why I'm going on about it. Same as if you've been following me for a while, you know I went on and on about the internet back in the early days of the internet. I went on and on about outsourcing and um, these sort of things even before Tim Ferriss got into that sort of stuff. And this is where I see the future going. We've had people like the Australian Stock Exchange, back in the olden days you'd ring the broker and you want to buy some shares, you have to phone him, he'd have to run out with a bit of paper onto the trading room floor. Then they brought in the chess system, the clearinghouse electronic subregister system. And the ASX has actually just dumped that. Now the ASX is going to be using blockchain rather than the computer system they've had for the last almost 35 years. So there's uh, VW has signed deals, uh, Microsoft has signed deals. 
Someone else, Samsung, people are starting to use the peer-to-peer -peer network rather than the traditional banking systems and rather than the traditional mail and telephone systems. So get into it and I'll see you soon walking around, wandering around in an Uber, in the big city, on the beach or somewhere. Say bye. Bye. Thank you very much.